Christian, you make a very good point about the fact that no driver is bigger than the team. Um, but in this instance, I have to say that I thought Felipe did the right thing uh, in, in ignoring the team orders because now, even if Felipe did let Valtteri Bottas go by, would Valtteri have got past Jensen Button? I don't think so. I think Valtteri would have had the same problem as Felipe, uh, being stuck in the dirty air uh, of, of the McLaren. So, I think Felipe did the right thing uh, in not letting in not letting Valtteri go by. And we, you know, you could so easily have had a situation that was similar to the Red Bull. Uh, incident in Istanbul 2010 where we saw both Mark Webber and Sebastian Vettel collide you know, and that could so easily have happened with Valtteri and Felipe but it didn't and you know had Felipe and Bottas uh, had collision then you know it would have been a whole lot worse rather than you know bringing home 10 points and for a team like Williams you now you consider how poor a season they had last year you know 10 points is more than you know, the amount of points that they scored last season so i think felipe did the right thing and you know, it just goes to show that valtteri certainly won't be having it all his own way uh, at williams this year ollie thank you so much for sending in this question an absolute cracker and i certainly wasn't expecting it so for someone who's looking to get into formula one what should they know well 2014 sees a new era for formula one gone are the v8 engines and in come the 1.6 v6 turbo engines with the fia looking to introduce greener technologies and also newer technologies to the sport as well so that's the first thing that you should know secondly the aerodynamics have changed where we have the front wing is narrower by 15 centimeters uh, the noses are much lower and some of the noses on the cars look absolutely ridiculous in my view and you know, that's, that, that's personally my view. I think, personally I think the Caterham or the Toro Rosso, they're, 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 they're the two teams that have the worst front noses. Um, so the front wing is narrow but you also have the rear wing that's narrow as well so because the aerodynamics have changed the driver has to work that little bit more harder. Um, what else? So there's also uh, the fact that the drivers are only able to use 100 kilograms of fuel in the race from start to finish which i think is a real shame really because the drivers should be able to be on the limit from the word go um, but with the new regulations in place now uh, the drivers have to decide when to push and when not to push and uh, when to you know, be in you know, saving a fuel strategy so that's so those are some of the things that are formula one you know, someone looking to get into formula one so those are some of the things that they should know um and they should also know that red bull and sebastian vettel have been dominating uh, last last four years in formula one but they haven't had it all their own way this year and they've had their problems um and mercedes have pretty much been dominating so far this year but there's still a long way to go and again ollie thank you so much for sending in a, a brilliant question Can the likes of Marussia and Caterham score any points this season? I think reliability, um, because that's going to put for me, I think reliability is going to play a big part this season. I think potentially, yes, I think we could see uh, Marussia and Caterham uh, scoring points, and I really would love to see that happen. Um, I think, it, for me, I think I totally agree with you, um, Natalie. I think it was great to see caterums uh, challenging the midfield teams and also having some good fights out there as well so good to see caterum um, challenging uh, the midfield in the uh, in the Malaysian Grand Prix I think Marussia I think they're, they're certainly making strides going forward and uh, yeah I, I really think that this year could be a year where we actually um, see the uh, likes of caterum and Marussia score points Well, Matthew, you consider where Red Bull were in pre-season, where, let's be honest, they weren't, well, they weren't great, were they? Um, but from what we've seen in Australia, what we've seen in Malaysia, Red Bull have certainly uh, made big improvements, that's for sure. Um, I think uh, Red Bull, yes, like I said, had the problems in pre-season testing, but you would have been a fool you know, 
have to write them up and if one team can get over their problems it's Red Bull and putting in the miles that they have been and yes Daniel Ricciardo that was disqualified from the Australian Grand Prix obviously we know that an investigation is going to take place and Red Bull have appealed um, but still for Daniel to you know, get to the end of the race and also for Sebastian as well to get to the end of the race in Malaysia as well just goes to show that Red Bull are certainly putting in the miles and they're getting the results as well and they seem to seem to have turned a corner so I think Red Bull yes they're improving there's still a long way to go if they want to overhaul Mercedes um, but they're certainly uh, heading heading in the right direction Owen, I'm pretty much stunned as to why the likes of McLaren, Ferrari and Red Bull haven't even considered taking on Nico Hulkenberg. Um, I think Nico uh, has done a really good job wherever he's gone. Uh, Williams, I was impressed with him in his debut season. Um, Force India, thought he became a better driver. Couldn't, couldn't understand why he left Force India to go to Sauber where, it, for me, I thought it was a sideways move and it wasn't going towards, you know, wasn't, and he didn't go towards the top team. Um, but you know, this season he's put in some really good results and uh, yeah I think Nico Hulkenberg I think I think it's only a matter of time before uh, he snapped up by a big team and I, and I really hope he, he does go to a big team because he deserves that opportunity um, I think you know, Ferrari I think potentially if Fernando does go um, to McLaren um, soon then perhaps Nico Hulkenberg could be uh, a Ferrari driver, so I think Nico, he, he, he's you no, know, he's already proved that he's a very good driver, and he's always reliable. You can depend on him, and you know he, he's you know, he can also score some big, big results. So I think the one thing that's missing from Nico Hulkenberg is a podium and a win. So if he can, if he can, I'll tell you what, Force India, I think they could have a strong season this year, and you know, Nico's already picked up some really good results in 2014. So. Nico keeps putting in strong performances. Um, I think it's only a matter of time um, before the likes of Ferrari, McLaren, and uh, Red Bull uh, might uh, might want to talk to Nico and take him on for potentially next season or uh, 20, 2016. Well, it's very much looking that way, isn't it? The fact that Mercedes are uh, uh, dominating uh, the Bahrain weekend so far and it's difficult to see beyond them I think Mercedes it will have another strong weekend barring a miracle um, but I think the Mercedes powered teams in general I think they will have strong weekends I think the track will suit their car uh, I think potentially the Williams and we could see the Force Indies up there as well and don't count out McLaren as well I think you no know, okay Jensen finished I think it was, was it six in six in Malaysia but nonetheless, he still he still finished in the points, and I think McLaren um, can still can still take positives from the way they performed this year, um, and I think they'll do well at Bahrain. So I think the Mercedes uh, power teams will do well at Bahrain, and I wouldn't be surprised if Nico um, Ros sorry Nico Rosberg or uh, Lewis Hamilton take the checkered flag um, this, this in the race. Um, so yeah, I think Mercedes uh, will win in uh, on Sunday. Who it will be, I'm, I'm not sure. I think uh, both Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg are two equally you know, really good drivers and they've proven that they, uh, that they can cut it. So I think we'll see a Mercedes win on Sunday. Who it will be, I don't know. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if the likes of McLaren, uh, Williams and Paul Cindy run them close.